Alright y'all, welcome back to the channel and do some more rifle testing. And I've got a pretty interesting one out here today and one that you guys have not seen on the channel yet. Alright, so for the setup we brought out here today, I brought out this rifle. This is a Marlin 336 c in 35 Remington. So not your typical 3030, it is a 35 Remington, which is not the most common thing anymore. But it's a caliber that I really like, even though the ammunition is a little bit tough to find for it sometimes. But up on top here is just a simple redhead 3 to 9 by 40 old school like Bass Pro Special. Nothing super amazing about it, but it does the job just fine. From the little bit that I have used that rifle, it's been a pretty good one. It is an original JM stamp, although it is towards the later years. It's early 2000s, I do believe. But I was able to take a deer with it last year, and it definitely knocked that doe down pretty quick. So I definitely want to do some more testing and hunting with that, since it is a little bit different being a 35 Remington. And as for the loads we're going to be trying today, I think that in a little bit of testing that I've done that these are the loads that it tends to like a little bit. These are the Hornady Lever Evolution rounds. They are a 200 grain FTX projectile and the box says up there that they're going 2225. However, as you can probably see, I did mark the 2116 average on there from the last time I tested it last year. So I'd be curious to see if we hold up to about that average velocity or not. So as per usual with our rifle testing, I have a target set up at 100 yards. We'll shoot three groups, three shots each, all of which will be across my chronograph. So we will be able to see if our average velocity is the same in today's conditions. It should be relatively close. So let's go over here and take you guys down to the target and get you all set up on there and with a view of the chronograph. And we'll start shooting all of our groups. And then we'll see how they actually performed for accuracy and velocity and energy and things like that. So let's go over here and get you guys set up and start shooting and see what they can do. All right, so we're now back here looking at our chronograph numbers. And I think right off the bat, we were just a little bit faster than we were from what I just wrote on the box. But let's actually take a look at the numbers and see how they did. So for a high, we had 2164. For a low, we had 2129. And that gave us an average of 2148. So that's about 32 feet per second faster on average than what I had wrote on the box. So odds are that's just a difference in temperature or air pressure or something like that. But the box did call for 2225. So we are a little bit under that. So chances are they probably used a barrel that was an inch or two longer in their testing. But at least we're still relatively close. So let's take a look at our actual groups and see how it actually performed as far as accuracy goes all right so now we're in here looking at our accuracy and we saw some very odd results here but let's measure them and see what we actually got and then we'll take some guesses maybe at what actually happened here so our first group up at the very top there is very clearly our best group of the day and that's the kind of accuracy that i like to see out of my hunting rifles or rifles in general to be honest with you but let's measure it and actually see what kind of number we got okay so that very first group gave us a 0 0.44 inch group so we're under half an inch. I mean, those, all three of them are touching and two of them are pretty much half and half overlapped into the same hole. So that's the kind of group that I really like to see right there. So we know that this rifle and ammo combination is definitely pretty decently accurate, at least by that group anyway. But what happened between that and our second group, I really don't know. But let's measure this second group over there in the bottom left and see what we actually got. Okay, so for that second group, we had a 3.99 inch group. So call it a four inch group, which is not really ideal. I mean, these two shots up here, maybe I could see being okay-ish. But this one down here, I really don't know. There was a little bit of impact shift 
from being a little touch high right to being pretty much center but high. I felt good about all of these trigger squeezes today, so I really couldn't tell you. I let the rifle cool for five or six minutes or so in the shade between all the groups so do i really think it has to do with heat i don't really know maybe but let's measure the third group down here in the bottom right and see what that gave us it's a little bit better but it's still not amazing okay for that third and final group it gave us a 2.98 inch group so call it a three inch group really it's an inch better than our second group but nowhere even close to our first group and like i said a second ago i let the rifle cool down i felt good about all my trigger squeezes so this is kind of interesting really i i did not expect it to open up quite like it did here but at the very least we know that this is at least capable of good accuracy but i don't know what do you guys think happened here or changed here do you think it had something to do with a little bit of residual heat i don't know i would have thought by the third shot up in the top group up there our first group that we would have noticed a little bit of heat effects starting to happen but that's just not the case really so i really don't know on this one i'm plenty happy with that first group but the second and third not so much on this one all right y'all so what did you think about how these performed after seeing that first group that's the kind of accuracy that i've seen out of this rifle before so i figured we'd be in for a pretty decent looking test but as we can clearly see for one reason or another these opened up pretty significantly so after seeing that what do you guys think what changed what happened anything i felt good about all my shots and i let the rifle cool so what do you guys think and should we keep testing this rifle with some other potential ammo that i can find to see how it does with some other loadings but on that note i've got another test i want to run out here today for you guys so stay tuned because we've got more coming and with that being said i'll see y'all in the next one